Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video, I am going to show how I'm connecting the Skyway from the mangrove swamp to my original mangrove swamp outpost, which I know is straight this way because I have the coordinates. And, um, and then I'm going to continue connecting it to my panda bear outpost and then we'll be heading on to the mushroom outpost that I made a long time ago. So I'm just using the coordinates to connect all of these together and I'm really enjoying getting to see all the different biomes along the way. So, um, it's just kind of a fun way to look at all the animals and plants. And at each of these stops, I made um, some stairs going down, but then I blocked them off so that creepers don't come up onto the walkway. And part of the reason for doing this is that that allowed me to go down and get more wood and materials as I was building. So right now, we're still in the mangrove swamp. And here I was just trying to stay on Z as negative 613, negative 614. Um, I had a whole bunch of that nice, pretty red mangrove wood. And then um, I also had some acacia wood left over. And this is one of the little tiny spots. I wouldn't even call this an outpost really, but um, just a little spot where I um, got some more materials, um, had a bed so that I would respawn here, and um, put some of my stuff in a chest. So not too much there. Um, here it does kind of shift from mangrove swamp into a bunch of acacia. And then up here, we're heading to the inside of a kind of small, I wouldn't call it a mountain, more like a hill. So, well, there, it is kind of a mountain over there, a little bit. It's not as tall as some of the others that we've seen. Um, and there is a cave down here that I haven't gone into. Underneath this, basically, there's a cave I kind of walled it off so that I didn't have too many mobs coming at me. Um, I did. I came across some sand, so I did make some windows so that I could enjoy looking at what was out there. Um, so this could be a fun area to explore over here. I haven't really explored that quite yet. Um, Let's see. Okay. Uh, I might take the mangrove door. I'm kind of, I have mixed feelings because I like the red wood, but I don't like the fact that it doesn't have any windows in it. Um, that's kind of a downside. I think I'm going to leave the mangrove propagules because I already have some of those at my house. I want a little bit more of this coal. I try to leave, I try to leave just a little bit of coal behind. Um, just in case I end up needing it later. I try to always put a um, pressure plate on my door so that they close by themselves. Okay, we're not going to go that way yet. That is the way to the um, heading towards the mushroom outpost. But first, we are going to go to the original mangrove swamp outpost, which is just straight ahead. Okay, so here, there is a stairs um, going down to the roof of it, but I think, okay, the easy way is jump down into the water and then come back up the stairs. And I have arrows, I hope, still. So if I see a creeper from up above, then I kill it with my arrows and then um then i jump down but this should be fine so 
So, Mangrove Swamp Outpost. Yes, it is making the cave noise because, um, I think you may have been here before. Um, it says, Welcome to Mangrove Swamp Outpost. Um, this tunnel actually connects back to our main village. Um, oh yeah, and I, I blocked it off because I didn't have a door. Do I want to use the door here? Maybe. Um, I liked using, I like using the, um, the leaves just to, uh, make it so that you can see what's on the other side easily. Uh, and it kind of just makes a temporary block to keep mobs out. So, okay. And yeah, you know, I haven't, I, I rarely come across mobs in these tunnels, I will say. Um, however, um, it can happen because that whole tunnel system is very vast. And so there certainly could be mobs going through those tunnels. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to leave all of that. Okay, so now we're going to go back up using the stairs. I don't think that's ever going to grow because it doesn't have enough space. I could put a different tree there, but it's just going to see if we have grass. Maybe that wheat would be better. Even though I'm not going to stick around, it might not grow until I come back, but that's okay. Alright, so. Mangrove Swamp Outpost. Um, what's cool about it? There's a jaguar. Um, there are some jungle trees mixed in here. There are a lot of mangrove trees, but it's kind of um, right along the edge of the jungle. And I do see some cocoa beans here and there, and that's something I'm interested in harvesting and um, growing in the future. I do like the jungle leaves, too, because they, um, they, they're they yellow, like they look like they have bananas in them or something. Um, but they only seem to look that way when they're in the inventory. Okay. Um... Here, let's see if I can put some jungle leaves out there. So when you actually put them out, they look super thick. But then when they're in the inventory, they look really cool. Okay, so. The Leaving Mangrove Swamp Outpost. And now we're going to head to Panda Bear Outpost. Got a lot of nice trees growing right here. I don't know if that tree's ever going to I'm going to leave it there for now. Okay, so using the coordinates, now we're heading towards another jungle outpost and panda bear outpost. And this is the one, oh, I see co coffee beans. I don't know if you see those down there growing on the side of the jungle tree. So I'm interested in going and getting a bunch of these. Um, and this is a jungle tree right here. So I learned that to grow cocoa beans, um, I just need jungle logs. So I've got three in my inventory. And I'm going to try not to use the wood. Um, there's some more cocoa beans. If I do use the wood, then I have to come back and get more jungle wood. So anyway, okay. Isn't the sun about to go down? Another thing I learned is that a lot of jungle trees are very wide, and so um, you can plant four right next to each other. Can I get up to the next outpost? Maybe. I'm not very far from it. I just have to go across this water. Uh, I will tell you, though, 
Um, I do see pandas sometimes here in this area. I've seen a couple pandas and I've seen a lot of jaguars. And then I've also seen a bunch of really cool bright colored jungle birds. Um, so that's kind of fun. All right, now off we go. Let's see if we see anything cool down there right now. They're just cocoa beans. I'm amazed how I see sugar cane everywhere, but I hardly ever see bamboo. Even near the pandas, where you think you would. Another nice big mountain over there. That could be fun to explore. There's more cocoa beans. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna go down to this one. I was just kind of calling the jungle outpost. Um, and it's the one that leads down to the abandoned mine shaft. The first abandoned mine shaft that I found. Um, and actually, I don't think anything is blocking these stairs. I might as well just take it. This one also has a really nice big waterfall by it. Okay, so this has changed a lot since I was here before. Um, if we go down here, we've got the tunnel system. Go down to Mangrove Swamp and Village. So one thing, I haven't made my, um, my walkway go down to um, the Villager's Village with the acacia trees. Um, abandoned mine shaft is down here. Also down here, part of the reason this goes straight right here is because there's a cave right underneath it. Um, if you go down here, let's see, I made one of those little underground hospitality areas. I've been dyeing a lot of my beds lately with fun colors from flowers. Let's see, there's yellow, there's pink. So that's probably good for now. Okay, let's continue on. I haven't had a bucket in a while, so I've not been carrying around water at all because at some point I got killed and lost it and I have not made another. So I think it's daytime. I'll just kind of show you what it looks like out here. Hopefully I won't get blown up. Um, so I kind of made this spot so that Danny and Cole could come and join me and check out the abandoned mine shaft. Okay, so now we're going to go back up the stairs. Okay. So I try to make doors because I did have a creeper come down one of my little stairwells like this and it was like hanging out outside the door which fortunately had windows so um, I went out a different way and then I shot it with an arrow so that it wasn't blocking my door okay so this right here is my panda bear outpost and um this is a very nice little outpost and i think i'm just gonna swim over there got a little bamboo i don't know if i'm the one that brought the boat there i didn't use to have a boat but just found that it's so easy to run around without a boat that i haven't been using it. I changed the door. There used to be a different kind of door there, but I changed it because I like it to have windows. Look how little wheat you're growing right here. 
Let's just fix that. No. Okay. Um, more torch. Help those grow a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is the one from the video where the water like um, came down uh, when I tried to tunnel to the next outpost, water came down on my head, so um, that's where we are right now. Not much in that chest. Much over here. Didn't get any dye yet. Okay. So now, let's go on. I have to eat some food here pretty soon. Usually I make my skyways and stairs too wide, but in this case I just made it one wide. I'm kind of getting used to that. Okay, so right now we are at Panda Bear Outpost. Oh, and I should say, I've also, well see there's tropical birds, but I've also seen a panda right around here. And there are... Um, jungle trees, which means there probably are more cocoa beans. I think I harvested a bunch from here, so that's why there aren't too many. Let's eat some food. Okay. Um, this area right here, I put a bed here earlier. That's why there's that big, um, big spot right there. Because I could put a bed just in the middle of the path, and sometimes I do. But then I always think, well, what if I join the game and I forget that I'm on top of the skyway and then I fall off because my bed's right on the edge. So this is something kind of interesting up here. This um, deep slate obelisk right here. I'm pretty sure that I did not make this, or at least if I did, then I have no recollection of it. Um, so maybe somebody else made that. The Z coordinate here is pretty close to a lot of our village, but um, the X coordinate is way too big. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who did it. Maybe I was trying to get away from mobs or something. Okay, so now we're heading towards the mushroom outpost. And I think this is the end of the line. But look at these cool trees. Um, I guess these are like pine or something. I don't, I don't even know what they're called. Um, do I have another sapling? Um, the main purpose of saplings is to grow more materials. I'm trying to keep jungle, so I'm not going to use the jungle. I will use diorite first. So this is pretty much how I make my skyways. Let's see. Do I still have a bed? Nope. Well, darn it. You run out of time, lady. Um... Because it's always handy. There's a jaguar right next to my house. What else is going on around here? So there's my other outpost over there. That was the one that goes down to the abandoned mine shaft. Okay, so. We're back. Okay. Okay. So, that is a look at my skyway from the from the mangrove swamp to Panda Bear Outpost. I wish the pandas would come out again. And the ICU skeleton down there. Yeah. I see you. Okay, so this is a pretty good spot because you can see 
a lot of my walkways and my stairs. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.